Yeah, they're a local cheer team with a lot of spirit, as you can see, and a lot of grit. The girls of Lakewood's Elwood Spirit have overcome many obstacles along the way, but now they're facing their biggest challenge yet, raising money to compete in the biggest cheer competition of the year, but it's in Florida. That's right. So they've gotten and fought to where they are right now, but they do need your help. And KTLA's Casey Montoya is live in Lakewood with more. Casey. Hey, Casey. Well, this is a grassroots competitive cheerleading group, and they have made it this far for the first time since the organization was started, but they're not going to get to the most prestigious contest of all without a lot of financial help. You know who's the best. This is Elwood Spirit, an independent youth competitive cheerleading program started in Lakewood in 2014. Babes! This squad, the Bliss Babes, is made up of 15 girls ages 8 to 14. They don't have a practice gym to call their own. To keep costs down, they haul their mats to this public park and learn on the grass. Tumbling, jumping, dancing, their routines all taught outside. Six, seven, eight. They have to work hard on the mat and in the classroom. Everyone on the squad is required to have at least a 3.0 GPA. At this Universal Cheerleaders Association competition last November, the girls did so well, they earned a bid to compete in the most prestigious end of the year event called The Quest. It's basically like the Mecca of all Mecca competitions. After 20 years of coaching everything from Pop Warner to high school, Crystal Guerrero created Elwood Spirit. And then we'll add tumbling into it. The 35 year old's cheerleading career was cut short when she was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. I got diagnosed when I was 18 years old um, and I quit cheering when I was 19 because of it. I love the sport so much and I was like, I still want to be involved in the sport, so I put all my energy into coaching. In the last five years, her teams have won state and national championships, and now these girls have the chance to battle the best of the best in the Quest Recreational Championship this March in Orlando. I'm really excited because this is my first time. It means a lot to me because I've been on the team for six years and um, this is the first year we ever did this, so I'm very excited. A dream come true for the entire team, but to get there, they need to raise $15,000 and quickly. We have to have it in by the 20th of January, so it's really like countdown, like, oh my God, I don't know how we're going to do this. <laughs> Joyce Lewis says they've had a few fundraisers over the past month, but because of the holidays, donations have been scarce and she's getting nervous. We're all working parents and, you know, although we're working parents, it's still a struggle. You know, cheerleading is not cheap. They need to raise $1,000 per girl to make the trip and not disappoint the Bliss Babes. They would be devastated. They would be devastated. They are so excited to go to Florida. So they turn to their favorite channel for a helping hand. K -T -L -A. Again, they need to raise $15,000 by January 20th, and they started a GoFundMe page. If you would like to help, we'll get that link on our website, ktla.com. And if you have a story for our Problem Solvers team, send us an email, ktlaproblemsolvers at ktla.com. In Lakewood, I'm Casey Montoya. Back to you. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people. I'm sure there help are. Help out yeah. on that one. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Casey.